Hi guys, this is Dawn Shannon and this is Tech Tip Tuesday. Today I wanted to share with you how to download your live videos from YouTube onto an external hard drive. Now let me tell you why this is important. This is one of my new newest little gadgets, my new little hard drive here that I love. It's super cute. It looks, I think on, online it says gold, but it really looks pink to me, but uh, it's hard for you guys to see that. Anyway, I will put a link to that little nugget down in the comments. But recently I have heard that YouTube's got something going on with the government. I don't know what it is, but what I did, my little spidey senses sparked up and said, you know what, I better get my live videos off of YouTube because when your videos are on YouTube and they're live, if you don't have them saved down anywhere else, they don't belong to you. They belong to YouTube. And if something were to happen that YouTube was to, I don't know, shut down or change hands of ownership, something, anything could happen, you guys. So you always want to have a backup of all your files on an external hard drive. Now you can save it down to a Google Drive, a Dropbox, and I definitely recommend those as well. But again, those are online platforms that you're still relying on a third party to host your content. And not a bad thing, definitely can do that. Dropbox is free up to a certain point. Google Drive is free up to a certain point. And when I say up to a certain point, meaning there's only so much bandwidth that they allow you to have storage wise before they need to charge you to give you more storage space. So on that note, I would recommend, I always recommend at least having your content in two different places, if not three sometimes on your hard drive on your computer it just isn't enough especially when you start doing a lot of content like daily content like i'm doing on youtube and there's just not enough room so having an external hard drive this one has two terabytes of storage there's a ton of space in here and you know what guys i have another one this is actually my older one. You can see how much thicker it is than this newer one. But I have all my stuff on here and I have now trans transferred all of my documents on here as well. So here's a quick video on how to do that. You're gonna get this USB port and you're gonna plug it into your computer, okay? And then it will load up that USB device. If you have a flash drive, you can do that as well. And so when you, when you click that and you see that come up, that's where you're going to want to move all of your documents. So let me share my screen over here onto the YouTubes and here we go. So just to kind of get you from square one. So I just typed in youtube.com. Here's a lot of people that I follow. These people are super hilarious. Then uh, most of you know, Martha Krejci, but I wanted to just give you step by step on how to do this. So go up here to your channel and what you're going to do is go to YouTube studio right here. There's my little face popping up. All right. And on the left, you're going to click videos. Here I am over here videos. And then right here is all of your video content. Okay. Now, if you look up at the top, these are uploads. And then here is a, you click to go live. All right. Here are all my live videos that I've done. All right. And what I want to do is get these onto that external hard drive so that I know I have them saved down just in case anything were to ever happen to YouTube. So what you're going to do is, and I did this the other night, so here we go. All right. I want to make sure you saw that. So if you just hover over this, there's three dots right here and it says options. You're going to click that. Then here's the download option right here. So you're going to download that and it's going to start working. I'm looking to see if it popped up anywhere. Oh yeah. 
So mine is down here in the bottom and it's going to pop up and actually start playing the video. I'm looking, I've got dual monitors here, but it started playing the video on the other screen. All right. Now, if you go to your desktop and what you're what going to want to do is go to documents. And I think this is pretty much the same. I know it was the same for one of my clients the other day. So if you see here, I'm on this PC, you're just on your PC under documents and there's a Zoom folder. You double click that and this is right there. That should be your downloaded video that you just downloaded from YouTube. Then what you're gonna take from here right now, it's still converting. So um, can't do that right now. But what you're gonna do then is take that. And what I like to do is I just come down here and I click on the little start button. I start typing the word in file and it pulls up a second option for another file folder. So what I do, I bring that over here. And so that way I see very clearly, here's what I'm working with and I want it to come over here somewhere. So what I do is I go down and you see here is my, this is my older hard drive, but it's a Toshiba Canvio hard drive. That's my older one, but this is where I keep all of my documents. So in my business, in my business file, I have recordings, and I have, let's just say, this is morning motivation minute. And so I date it, I'd say what it was about, and then you just drag it over. Okay, you guys. So literally, let me get another document so you can see me dragging it over. Let's see if I have anything in my downloads. Okay, five levels of leadership checklist. Let's just pretend like that's a video that you wanna drag over there. You're just gonna click it and drag it on over. And it makes, in, in my world, it makes a copy. Hopefully yours doesn't just remove it completely without you saying, yes, I wanna remove it completely. But if it does, you might wanna right click and copy instead, and then right click over here and paste. It'll give you that option. But I like to make sure that it came over into the new file before I delete it from the other place so that you just don't want to, you know, you don't want to lose it in the, in the transfer or the moving around. So that is how I download from the, the YouTube live videos. You're going to download that straight to your computer and then transfer it over, move it over, copy it over onto your external hard drive. That way you have your stuff and you're, if, if you lose it, then that's on you. But if YouTube goes down, you have it. It's safe. And like I said, I like to put it in a couple different places. So you might go ahead and upload that to your Google Drive or to your Dropbox, to those free accounts, and also keep it on your external hard drive. All right, that has been Tech Tip Tuesday. I hope that was helpful. And anything that you guys can think of that you're just wondering how to do something technology wise, please reach out and let me know. I'm happy to do the research if I don't know how to do it myself. I love learning this stuff because it's always been one of those things for me that I've never been real 100% confident about, especially with all this newfangled social media stuff. I'm still learning and growing with that. So let me know what you've been struggling with and I'll be happy to see if I can help you and I'll do a video just for you. All right. Thanks, you guys, and I'll see you next week. Bye-bye.